This is AISPN, your one and only source for AI evaluation, comparison, and analysis. Tonight, our headliners, OpenAI's Whisper versus DeepGram. In today's battle of accuracy, speed, cost, and X-Factor, which ASR fighter will come out on top? Find out tonight on AI Battles with your hosts, Trip Baymore and Shannon Pointy. Good evening. My name is Trip Baymore, and I'm here with my co-host, Shannon Pointy. Hello there. Now, you at home may notice something different about today. Shannon is not joining me in the studio. No, I am not. Today, I'm in Silicon Valley itself, the hub of AI, to discuss today's topic. That's right, so let's jump right into it. Today, we're going to be focusing on the next major branch of AI speech recognition. That's right, Trip. For a long time, chatbots like ChatGPT were all the rage, but the honeymoon phase with them is over. They're no longer the shiny new thing. They're a part of our lives now, and we're growing more or less used to it. Couldn't agree more, Shannon. Now that we know that large language models can read and write, it's time for us to see if they can speak and listen. And listening seems to be the next horizon. Exactly. Speech recognition models are showing up everywhere. Even during the hype of ChatGPT, OpenAI released its own speech recognition model called Whisper. Yes, but just because OpenAI did a chatbot well does not mean that they are the end-all be-all company for all types of AI. I mean, for all we know, Whisper may not be the best model out there. Shannon, you know I'm not the type of man to dish out popular opinions. <laughs> you most certainly are not, Trip. You laughed a little too hard there, bud. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But I think many will agree with me when I say this. We cannot assume that OpenAI will produce the best speech recognition model out there. Sure, they did great with the chatbot, but that doesn't mean that those skills and that quality is going to translate into speech recognition. We'll have to get our hands dirty, run a few experiments, and gather some data before concluding which model out there is indeed the best for speech recognition. That's right. The quality of ChatGPT does not imply anything about the quality of Whisper, especially in comparison to all the other ASR models out there. So. Let's bring up the scorecard as usual. Oh yes, my favorite part. Today, we'll be comparing DeepGram, or DG, with OpenAI's Whisper in four different categories. Accuracy, speed, cost, and X Factor. For those of you whose first time it is with our program, we'll get into the X Factor in a little bit. But first, Shannon, what do you think of DeepGram? Trip, I'm gonna say this without knowing your opinion yet. I'm ready. I love DeepGram, clearly. <laughs> That is a bold claim right out of the gate. What makes you say that? Just look at the stats, man. In this world, it's all about the stats. Word error rate, accuracy, pricing. You're not saying a lot of numbers there, Shannon. I'm about to, Trip. Just give me some room. I am all ears. Well, you know, our favorite number here in the world of speech recognition is word error rate, or WER for short. To put it simply, word error rate is the amount of mistakes that a speech recognition model makes. As we can see in this graph, DeepGram not only outperforms Whisper, but it also outperforms its other competitors as well with the lowest word error rate of 9.5%. Here's another number for you. The number of languages that DeepGram transcribes particularly well. You see, OpenAI models perform well when focused in one language, English. DeepGram, on the other hand, performs exceptionally well, as shown earlier, in 30 languages. Moreover, Whisper performs best on low-volume, pre-recorded audio. DeepGram can do any volume, and it can handle both pre-recorded as well as live-streaming audio. See, Trip, Whisper is just lacking in numerous domains. It can't even do real-time transcription out of the box. Well, you know what? That is great, Shannon. But that is only good for the people who need live transcription. What about the hundreds of thousands of researchers out there who only really care about pre-recorded audio? That's a fine point, Trip. Let me bring up two things. Okay. First, live transcription isn't trivial. Just look at the business we're in right now. ESPN, CNN, Fox, Comedy Central, subtitles are everywhere. Yeah, but that doesn't discount my point. What about the thousands, if not millions of researchers out there who only use ASR for pre-recorded audios? Then they'd still be happy with DeepGram. Please, please, explain. All right, again, take a look at the stats. Word error rate up first. Across all mediums, from podcasts to videos to meetings to phone calls, 
Deep Grim outperforms its competitors, Assembly AI, AWS, and of course, Whisper. Specifically, Whisper's large model. So what does that mean for the people at home? Well, as simply as I can put it, just look at the numbers inside each box of this plot. That number represents the median word error rate. And across the board, DeepGram gives out the fewest errors across this large data set. So statistically, you're saying that DeepGram outperforms Whisper on basically every form of audio, even unscripted audios? That is exactly what I'm saying, Trip. I mean, look, they've even provided subtitles for numerous conferences all around the world. Now I will say, Whisper definitely shines on scripted material such as speeches, audiobooks, and skits. But hey, you know what's better than a transcription of an audiobook? Getting the actual book itself. That's the ground truth. There's your transcription right there. So sure, Whisper does absolutely amazing when it comes to audios that are pre-recorded and that are very heavily scripted. But these are audios that you wouldn't have to transcribe in the first place because the ground truth is already available. When it comes to other domains, like the aforementioned phone calls and podcasts, free form, unscripted, more realistic areas of speech. That's where DeepGram shines and that's where DeepGram definitely outperforms Whisper. That's the point I wanna hammer home. DeepGram is the most accurate ASR model out there on the market today. And people get mad at me for having controversial opinions. I call it like I see it, but I wouldn't even call it a controversial opinion. You can test this out and see it for yourself. And how can we do that? Cut to the clip. In one of their more recent blogs, DeepGram posted code that allows you to measure the word error rate of any transcription. All you need is an audio to pass into the model of your choice and the ground truth transcription. So from this point, all you need to do is take the audio and transcribe it with DeepGram or Whisper or Assembly AI or any other ASR model you wish. Then you can measure the word error rates in seconds and compare. That is, in part, how DeepGram knows it's more accurate than any other model on the market right now, including and especially Whisper. And that same process is readily available for you to try out yourself. Link to the blog and the code is in the description below. Okay, okay, Shannon, I get your point. DeepGram has the best accuracy out of any ASR model out there on the market right now. <laughs> Add it to the scorecard. Of course. That ding is music to my ears. Yes, yes, but don't forget, there are other factors at play. Like what, Trip? I feel like you're just trying to find something to disagree on at this point. Well, what about speed? Well, I'm glad you asked. My friends in the control room have actually prepared for this. Check it out. As you can see, it takes minutes for Whisper to process an hour of pre-recorded audio, while DeepGram does it in just a little over 12 seconds. Meaning DeepGram is over 10 times faster than the Whisper large model. And of course, much faster than all these other alternatives. What was this hosted on? Everything was tested on GPUs. And you want to know what the crazy part is? You know, I'm not sure that I do. Well, that's too bad because I'm going to tell you anyway. If you want to transcribe an hour of audio with Whisper Large from OpenAI, you'll run into this error. You'll see that the file is too big to be transcribed by Whisper. This is because Whisper imposes a 25 megabyte limit on the audios it can transcribe. So how'd you get these results? Well, if you want to transcribe anything over 25 megabytes with Whisper, which by the way, is just a little over 23 minutes of audio on an MP3, then you'll have to chop up your audio into 25 megabyte chunks and feed each of those chunks into Whisper. What's wrong with that? Any engineer worth their salt can look up how to split up an audio. Well, as an engineer, don't you value efficiency? Wouldn't you rather not have to write the code that splits up the audio into chunks and instead just get an AI that can handle large files to begin with? All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Let's update the scoreboard. Okay, so what were you saying? What about cost? DeepGram is more accurate and faster, but there's no way it could be cheaper as well. <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this. For what? Cut to the graphics. DeepGram's latest model, Nova, costs less than half a cent for every minute of transcription. Meanwhile, Whisper costs a little over half a cent. But also, if you're curious, here's the price comparison across the board. DeepGram is cheaper than AWS, Assembly AI, Google Video, and Speechmatics as well. I am actually shocked. So you know what we have to do now, right? <sighs> do it. Pull up the scoreboard. Anything else you wanna add, Shannon? I think you're saying that as a joke, but indeed there is. So, what do you wanna say? The scorecard doesn't just end at accuracy, speed, and cost. We still need to talk about X-Factor. Or, in this case, X-Factors. Plural. What do you mean? 
Let's talk about the features that each of these models offers right out of the box. For example, if I want to create subtitles, I'm going to need timestamps for every single word. Okay, then just get the timestamps for each word. Which model do you think offers word level timestamps right out of the box? Deepgram or Whisper? Don't tell me. It's Deepgram. Okay, what about summarization? If you want to summarize an extremely long audio, which model do you think offers a summarization feature right out of the box? I'm guessing Deepgram. Not Whisper, exactly. And what about diarizing speakers within a given transcript? If, for example, I want to label which person is speaking at any given moment so that I know which words belong to which voices, can you guess which model allows you to format an output like that? I got it, I got it. In fact, the scorecard we had earlier only displayed the X factor as one row. In reality, the X factor is so much larger than that. Let's check out the real scorecard. As we can see, in every field of comparison, Deepgram is either better or equal to Whisper. The only thing Whisper offers that Deepgram also offers are punctuation, profanity filters, and numeral formatting. But for other features, like splitting the transcript into paragraphs, adding a custom vocabulary, redaction, and the aforementioned live streaming real-time audio transcription, Deepgram is the only model out there that offers those features at such a high quality. You know what, Shannon? I believe everything you're saying, but just to spite you, I'm gonna stick to Whisper. Hey, hey, you can totally do that, but just know that you can use Whisper through Deepgram as well. What does that mean? If you sign up for Deepgram, you won't just have access to their latest Nova model. You'll also have access to any Whisper model. I'm not following. Well, let me explain. It's a part of their API called Deepgram Whisper Cloud. Basically, you can use the Whisper model, as in OpenAI's parameters, OpenAI's architecture, through the Deepgram API. The CEO of Deepgram said that users who sign up to use Deepgram will find Whisper available as an additional model among all the other models they provide. <laughs> That's insane. That's for skeptics like you. And by the way, if you use Deepgram Whisper Cloud, you won't run into the same problems that you would if you just use plain Whisper through OpenAI. Elaborate. Well, remember that 25 megabyte limit on Whisper? Yes. Well, Deepgram hosts Whisper in such a way that you can get around that size limit. Do I have to write any extra code to do that? Nope. Deepgram abstracts all that work away for you, so that you, as an engineer or a data scientist, don't have to worry about the size limits whatsoever. Using Deepgram Whisper Cloud is the same as using Deepgram's Nova, the only thing that changes is your config. Oh, and note that OpenAI only lets you use the Whisper Large V2 model not any of the other models. Deepgram, on the other hand, or more specifically Deepgram Whisper Cloud, lets you have access to all of the Whisper models. Tiny, base, small, medium, and large. And if that's not enough, here's a cherry on top of the cherry on top. If you look at the Whisper documentation, you'll find not much. Here's a bit of example code alongside a very brief mention of parameters like prompting and edge cases like long inputs. But if you want any help or guidance on how to use Whisper effectively, you're on your own. The documentation is rather lackluster. Deepgram, on the other hand, offers beautiful documentation, full-fledged software development kits in multiple coding languages, and a series of helpful blogs. Want to combine speech recognition and Unity graphics? Deepgram can guide you with that. Want to use diarization rization to analyze conversations? Deepgram has content on that as well. Want to just copy paste code and get started as quickly as possible? Deepgram has guides on that too. Long story short, Deepgram doesn't just come with a superior model. It also comes with an incredible team of engineers, developers, researchers, and writers whose primary goal is to make your job and project as easy and fun to create as possible. Okay, fine. Just to spite you, I'll sign up for Deepgram, but I'm only gonna use the Whisper part of their API. Hey man, that's your call. Do whatever you want, but just so you know, I personally will be using Deepgram's models, especially Deepgram Nova, from this point on for any and all of my ASR related work. <laughs> you win this round, Shannon. But don't forget, there's more than just Whisper out there. Deepgram's got some competition. What about... Assembly AI. Well, if you look back at today's stats, you'll see some comparison points between Deepgram and Assembly. However, a full discussion on that topic sounds like a great idea for the next episode. Fair game. All right, thanks for joining us on AI Battles. My name is Trip Baymore. And I'm Shannon Pointy. And we will see you next weekend.